Look, I'm not here to litigate 2020. I'm running in 2024. I'm running for the U.S. Senate. But I do say we have to get confidence back in our election system. We can't have in 2016 uh, uh, Hillary Clinton saying the election was stolen, causing a $110 million investigation by Robert Mueller that went on for, what, two, two and a half years, showed that there was no, you know, Russian interference. And then 2020, you know, the other side loses and then saying, you know, the election was stolen. Were there issues? Yes. But we've got to move past that. We've got to get confidence in our election process. I'm really happy that the referendums passed because that's just a step in that process. What, what were the issues that you're talking well, about? Well, there's many of them, Dan, if you want to talk about them. Zuckerbucks was a very concern. And if, if a big conservative Republican came into the state and was targeting conservative areas to push out the vote, let me tell you, liberals would be outraged by that, number one. Number two, you look at the nursing homes. Look, I do lending into the nursing home community, uh, or used to. The average life expectancy in a nursing home is four to five months. How can you have, you know, Racine County Sheriff finding 100% of the people voting? And by the way, parent, kids of parents, elderly parents are dying saying, who voted for my parent? Who did that? That's, that's a legitimate question. You had ballot harvesting in, in public places. A, a Dane County judge said it's illegal, but the votes got counted. You had correction of, of, of votes. All those things need to be cleaned up. It's wrong. And if it was happening on the other side, people would be outraged. So let's find a system to bring everybody's confidence back into the election process.